When I was a kid, I read a J. Frank Doby story about a coyote and a badger hunting together. At the time, I thought the story was entirely fiction, but later I learned it actually happens. I stopped in the Lamar Valley in Yellowstone National Park years ago to have lunch. While I was eating, I saw a coyote cross the road heading south. It seemed like it was looking for something. Finally, it walked to what turned out to be a badger's den and almost knocked on the door. They started walking, the badger following the coyote. They weren't close together, but they were moving in the same direction. I couldn't believe it. The badger stopped and stared at a family of ground squirrels. Once they saw the badger, the ground squirrels ran into their den. The badger began digging at their den and the coyote stared alertly at another hole nearby. Suddenly, a ground squirrel came out near where the badger was digging. The badger grabbed it and trotted back to its den. The coyote stood and watched the badger leave. The badger got a meal and the coyote nothing. Badgers and coyotes catch ground squirrels differently. Badgers usually dig them up. Coyotes either pounce on them or chase them. Ground squirrels often escape a digging badger by leaving their underground burrow through a different hole and running away. They escape coyotes by running into burrows and disappearing underground. A ground squirrel will have less of a chance to escape a badger and a coyote hunting together. If it runs away from the coyote by staying underground, the badger will dig it up. If it leaves a burrow to escape the badger, the coyote will run after it. Recently, I was on the gravel road along Slough Creek in Yellowstone. I stopped because someone said they had seen a badger. We waited a little while, and a badger walked over a hill towards us. It was snowing hard, so I couldn't see very far. Suddenly, a coyote appeared, walking towards the badger. It was a rare repeat of what I had seen years earlier. As the wind blew and the snow came down, the coyote patiently waited for the badger. The badger finally started digging. The coyote crouched down and watched the badger intently. The second it saw a ground squirrel running from a different hole, it grabbed it. The ground squirrel was still alive and I tried not to watch as the coyote killed and ate it. It then wandered off, leaving the badger without a meal. So far, by chance, I have witnessed a badger and a coyote hunting together twice. The badger got lunch while the coyote got nothing the first time. The second time, the coyote got one and the badger got nothing. I feel very lucky to twice have witnessed this rare behavior. This happens so infrequently, it is hard to say who wins most, the coyote or the badger. Both must significantly benefit or they would not continue to hunt together. <laughs>